As a two-time major winner and a major MVP, Olaf Meister has accomplished what most CSGO players can only dream of. The first team to win a second championship here in Global Offensive, and Olaf Meister's playing it so safely. They know that they have it. Exist gets one, and he's back on it. He's got the kit, he's holding it down. I'm not sure there's enough time. Fnatic, they do it! Throughout his career, he's been a crucial part of some iconic plays. Over the diffuse, the diffuse is coming in. Has it? He's still going. Oh, just about gets it. And some controversial ones. He sees them down there. Straight headshot. They have no idea. <laughs> Smith's looking confused and dazed, and it's going to be a follow-up headshot. Olaf Meister. Over the past few years, Olaf Meister has been trying to step away from the game, taking multiple breaks due to health and motivation issues. But even though he keeps trying to leave, there's always something that pulls him back in. Grim peeks out and dies to him, Fallen drops his shot, and Olaf is looking good. Are we seeing the end of Olaf's legendary career? Or is he just getting started? Eliminating Gambit in the quarterfinals, it's absolutely unbelievable fun and games. You just can't take the LAN out of FaZe Clan. Olaf Meister is one of the most successful CSGO players of all time, but things have changed a lot since his glory days. Ladies and gentlemen, your ESL one Kavalita champions are Fnatic! After leaving Fnatic at the end of 2017, he joined FaZe Clan to form CSGO's first international super team. All in in one position and Guardian makes it just nice to find the flash! And Nico fittingly gets the last kill as FaZe dominate New York in 2017 in the Barclays Center all the way through this tournament. But despite a strong start, the team failed to live up to expectations when it mattered most. Guardian waits patiently as Cloud9 sets the push up. Oh! Oh, this happens! They made it work! Cloud9 are your E-League Major Champions! Following the heartbreak of FaZe Clan's Boston Major loss and the poor results that followed, Olaf decided to take a personal leave of absence in April 2018. Aside from a short break back in 2016, Olaf had been playing Pro CS non-stop for six years, and it was starting to take a toll on his health. When I played like at the Major, it uh, was like, kind of locking in the arm, like felt like cramps and locking, and then we would jump from different places, and right now that's all gone. Pretty much everyone agreed that he deserved a break, but no one really expected it. And while Olaf watched from the sidelines, FaZe lifted the IEM Sydney trophy with his substitute, Exist. Astralis are running out players, options, and time. It's Exist and Guardian to do it! It's FaZe Clan! Just a few weeks after FaZe's win in Australia, Olaf announced his return to competitive play. Originally, he planned to return in time for the ECS Season 5 Finals, but on June 5th, he released a new statement, saying that he wasn't ready to come back just yet. Without Olaf, FaZe went on to place fourth at that tournament. He didn't go around towards quad, this could cost him the oh, round, but Device it. fully hit the shot! Oh my god, it's coming down to the last few seconds, and Device closes it out with the AK. And while the team did go on to win a few small time events, things just weren't the same without him. But then, in July 2018, four months after his leave started, the fans finally got what they wanted. Olaf was back. FaZe thanked Croman for his brief service, and announced that Olaf would finally be returning to the starting lineup ahead of E-League Premier 2018. Unfortunately, Olaf's debut didn't exactly go as planned. FaZe bombed out of E-League without winning a single match. He's dancing, Nico sees him. Can he get the kill though? Finally, TW goes down, but now it's Nico alone. Again, it's down to Nico, exists. Moving in, and that's gonna be that at the very end. 16 to 14 for Fnatic. Unreal game of Counter-Strike, and FaZe are out. But Olaf wasn't about to let the loss get to him. FaZe Clan, I mean, what they've done here in Miami, it's absolutely off the charts. 16-12, and they take the victory here at the Grand Finals. Unbelievable play. Over the next two years, FaZe won Epicenter, E-League, and Blast, but still, a major title eluded them. After a slew of roster changes, Olaf was now the oldest player on FaZe Clan, and he was losing motivation to carry on with the new team. So in May 2020, Olaf decided to take another break. Given his declining performance and the constant breaks, some members of the community began to question if he'd return at all. And if he did, would it even be with FaZe? This is his third break, right? And he's always been back within like a couple of months or three months or something. Last yeah. time when he took that break two years ago, he was back within three months. 
Same way when he had that injury, he was back within two months and always he came back like in decent form. So I don't see why he wouldn't. But FaZe had to move on. They added Karabai, hoping the former major MVP could bring them back to their glory days. Now all on to Valda, the brave Viking that can. He's tucked into Gandalf and it does look magical. Nico would need the wall bang. He's jiggling, he's jiggling, he's wasting time. Nico hits the shot, has he got it? GG's in the chat. And he's done it. Oh 16, 3 0, FaZe Clan take a trophy. And it's in 3 no less, an untarnished record. But once the honeymoon period with Kerbai was over, FaZe began to struggle once again. Incendiaries kind of make them a bit uncomfortable. Cold Zera, oh my. He's able to flick back in time. And then Kierby's supposed to come off barrels, but he gets denied by Knock Rez through the edge of the wall. Takes the man advantage. This could be it. Rain at bat. 1v3. Little HP to work with and a bomb plant to make it worse. The flash is fantastic. And in October 2020, things went from bad to worse for FaZe. Nico was out. And with just one day to find a replacement ahead of the Blast Premier fall season, there was only one man who could save FaZe Clan, Olaf Meister. Uh, an adjustment here from IBR. They're actually gonna turn it back to ramp. Olaf Meister fully aware of the situation with a nice clean angle. 2K spray down, leaving K and G alone. FaZe didn't end up qualifying for the Blast Premier finals, but they did show that they could still go toe to toe with some of the best teams in the world. And with Olaf Meister rushed back into the roster, analysts did expect some growing pains. Well, I think if you ask the FaZe players and if they answer truthfully, the amount of practice they've had coming into this tournament with this lineup with Olaf Meister is probably very, very limited compared to MIBR who's been playing tournaments after tournaments. But Olaf wasn't struggling with the pace of pro play like many expected. For someone who hadn't competed in nearly five months, he looked solid. Oh, but Brokey, he does slip into the CT spawn. These other two were on display. Olaf, good position, and a second. Grim peeks out and dies to him. Fallen drops his shot, and Olaf is looking good. Three kills. How do you think it's possible that he basically just comes in and has such a massive performance when he himself isn't even sure of his future? How is it that he can actually do that right now and destroy people? Nobody should write Olaf off no matter what time it is. He's a, he's a big talent in the game. He's been at the top for a very long time and he's been the best player in the world. I don't think even if he takes a couple of years break, he's still going to come back to the server and, and do good things. So there's no surprise to me that he's playing really good. After a few months though, the results still weren't coming and Olaf was back to thinking about retirement. I've been playing this game for so long, I know like ups and downs will come, but um, I still think I want to take a break. Like, I don't know, it, it was supposed to be a long break for me to just think about everything and regain motivation and all this stuff, but um, the guys needed help and I mean, I, I, I think I, I owe it to them to help them as much as I can. He has a kit and he has a smoke and Olaf has to leave. Now he's gonna make a bunch of noise. He's gonna get that kill. He's gonna put the smoke on top of bomb and no, not like no. this. You are kidding me. Navi, finish like this. Finally, in February, 2021, Olaf Meister made the decision to step away once more. And this time it was going to be permanent. But then in June, FaZe Clan's IGL Cold Zera benched himself after a string of poor results. And rumors began to circulate that Olaf was back to practicing with the team. I think there was rumors that Olaf was uh, playing with them. Do you think that's where they'll end up? Do you think they'll, they'll get Olaf? Absolutely. Of yeah? course. Yeah. Okay. Why no, do you it's say obvious. That? It's obvious. Because I think it's if uh, they have no options, they will not pick some uh, young and experienced player. Olaf is a legendary player and often feels beyond criticism. But even his fans weren't expecting much from him after a four month break. Jax trying to hold on and actually doing a pretty good job here. Deagle South, one more headshot. He maybe could have had it. He had the chance. He's turned it into a one versus one absolutely out of nowhere. And Nico sneak it up behind. He's got the kill. I don't think Olaf Meister has any clue. He doesn't know that Nico is right here. He's going to walk into the shot and he still brings him down with a headshot. Olaf. Saving the day for FaZe. Tapping the bomb, trying to fake it out, and that was the right idea, but it doesn't matter. Olaf Meister showing up, quad kill at the end to close the half with. What a performance from the returned legend. Olaf showed up at Blast and proved that he still had what it took to be a top tier competitor. And at IM Cologne, FaZe upset Gambit in the quarterfinals to secure a top four finish. Exile, all the frags he's had this tournament, these are compulsory for Gambit. 
Evades the flash. Multiple targets. Carrigan slipped the net though, and he's caught on the mantle. Intus doesn't have the health for this. One HP. FaZe Clan have done it. Eliminating Gambit in the quarterfinals. It's absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Fun and games. Woo! You just can't take the LAN out of FaZe Clan. Since his impressive run in Cologne, Olaf has continued to perform for FaZe. And although it's possible he takes another break or even retires, he's proven that he never lets his team or his fans down. He's the old guy who still has it. An incredible player who always manages to come back in at just the right time and pick up right where he left off. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.